Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Mindy Banks. I'm the Flip Flop Chef. Today I want to talk about DIY Christmas gifts. I have so much to show you, but I'll cover it in a short period of time. So let's go ahead and get started. As you're joining, please let me know where you're watching from and if you're catching this live or if you're watching the replay. Um, if you have not already joined my recipe community, I hope you'll check it out. You can find it at theflipflopchef.com. So let's go ahead and talk about what I have here on our Lazy Susan. I love this product for so many reasons. Um, it's great if you wanted to use it to decorate a cake, but it's also a great serving platter or charcuterie board. So let's get a closer look. So I wanna show you what I have here on the charcuterie board or the Lazy Susan rather. Um, I have one of our mini fluted pans, uh, excuse me, mini fluted cakes that I made with Pampered Chef's mini fluted pan. I drizzled some um, store-bought just Pillsbury cream cheese icing that I warmed up in the microwave, drizzled that over the top of the cake, put some Christmas sprinkles on the top and it's ready to go, we're ready to give. Um, the next thing I have, this is Pampered Chef's caramel latte bread. After I cooked this in the new large muffin pan, which I'll show you here in just a few minutes, I drizzled white chocolate and caramel sauce over the top and chopped up some of these sugared pecans that I made in the deluxe air fryer and put them right on the top of the caramel latte bread muffins. This is pecan pie praline bars. These are amazing. They will literally melt in your mouth. Make sure you have a glass of milk ready. It's perfect pairing for that. Then I have our new apple spice beer bread. That's a product coming soon from Pampered Chef. And I just garnished it with a couple of fresh apple slices and drizzled it with caramel syrup. I have some crunchy peanut butter bark. This uses nutter butter cookies, peanuts, white chocolate bark, semi-sweet chocolate, and of course, peanut butter, which you can use store-bought or, or you can make it in your deluxe cooking blender. And in this bowl right here, um, I have the sugared pecans, which I'm gonna tell you guys how I made that. I love this Lazy Susan because you can leave it where it can be turned if needed. But we also have a little hook or a, um, I don't know what you call this, little button here on the side. Um, and you can just lock that in place. I'm gonna set this aside. And then I wanna show you the products that I used to make a few of those items. So for the apple spice beer bread mix, um, this is the mix, and this is coming soon from Pampered Chef. Depending on when you're watching this, it will be available for a limited time starting on October 1st. Um, I used this with a can of Sprite. You don't have to use beer when you're making our beer bread. You can use any carbonated beverage, even like sparkling apple cider. If I had had that on hand, I probably would have used that. But I just followed the package instructions for that, and I baked these. Um, in the mini loaf pan. So you can see these fit right in here. I did not bake them in these cute little gold trays. You can get these gold trays and most of the things that I'm gonna show you today that hold the food um, gifts are from Hobby Lobby. Um, if it's from somewhere else, I will try to make sure to let you know, but most of the packaging that you're gonna see today, I got at Hobby Lobby. So this is the mini loaf pan with the um, apple spice beer bread. And I used our mini fluted pan to make the chocolate bundt cakes. I'm gonna show you another fun way to give those as a gift in just a few minutes. And then this is the new large muffin pan. I use this for the caramel latte bread um, muffins and love this. You can even use this for like chicken pot pies um, or um, let me see, tortilla cups. I lost my train of thought for a second. I'm gonna move this out of the way. And then I wanna show you about, tell you about the sugared pecans. So I made those in the deluxe air fryer and I have, I was able to make four of these bags and I love these bags, you guys. These are also from Hobby Lobby and they're Ziploc bags, but they're fancy. So I really like these and these were in their regular party supplies, not in any holiday department. So you should be able to get these all the time, not just at Christmas. And they had a couple of different patterns. So I have three bags here. The fourth bag, I used part of it already, but these are great to give just as they are. Or if you wanna add a fun little tag um, to this, then you could tie that on as well. So I've got the sugared pecans. I made these in the deluxe air fryer using the rotating basket. Um, I will post the recipe in my recipe group. It is already there from when I shared it um, a different time, but I will post all the recipes I'm sharing with you guys a little bit later on. This is a great way to give the little mini fluted 
uh, cakes. So hopefully you guys can see that. This is a cupcake box, also from Hobby Lobby in their regular party supply um, aisle. I have three of the mini fluted cakes in here. I did the same thing, just drizzled some microwave store-bought frosting on the top and added some Christmas sprinkles. And then this is ready to give as a gift. Um, I want to show you kind of how I made, how I topped off the um, caramel latte bread. So this is caramel latte bread from Pampered Chef. Followed the instructions almost to a T. Um, you're going to mix this with two eggs, a half a cup of water, and a half a cup of vegetable oil. I did make one change. I used a quarter cup of water and a quarter cup of cold brewed coffee. You could use just the water or you could use both coffee and water. All right. So this is a cupcake box, like a single cupcake. This is about four and a half inches um, diameter. So you are gonna need a larger than normal cupcake box if you're using the large muffin pan. So I'm gonna show you guys how to decorate this. For the cakes, um, when you're putting them in a box like this, it's best to decorate them once you have them in the box. So I'm using two Torani syrups. I love their flavorings and I love their syrups. So I have white chocolate and caramel. You can get these at uh, most grocery stores. You guys know I'm a big Aldi fan. They don't normally carry these, um, but you can get them at Walmart and Publix. Any major grocery store um, should carry these. I'm sure that you can order them from Torani online. And this is something that you might even be able to find at Home Goods. All right, you remember the sugared pecans that we made? Um, so these are the sugared pecans. I already put some in my food chopper, chop those up. I'm just gonna take some of these and sprinkle them on. Again, you wanna do this inside the box. Now, this is a fun thing. If you wanna add these on, you can or you can leave them off. Um, these are caramel bits, and so you get these on the baking aisle as well. For this one, I'm gonna just press a few of these on the top. I might have, should have put a little bit more of the syrup on the top before sticking those on. But here is our caramel latte bread muffin in a gift box. Whoops, I always wanna put those on the inside. Um, the hardest part of this is gonna be putting the boxes together, even though it's not very hard, um, and then getting them closed again. There we go. You could give this just as it is, or you could put um, a fun ribbon around there if you like. All right, some other ideas that I wanna show you. So a couple more of these cupcake boxes. They're not just for cupcakes. So in this box, um, hopefully you guys can see that here. I just added a cute little gift tag on the top. Inside of this box is one of these um, individual peppermint hot chocolate. So this is white chocolate peppermint cocoa mix. And I will show you guys um, how to put these together in just a few minutes. But these fit perfectly in the four and a half inch cupcake box and you can add your instructions. Um, another way to serve those or to give them rather is to package them in a plastic bag like this. This particular one has like a, a, a solid bottom. So it's like a piece of cardboard. Um, I did not get these at Hobby Lobby, but I've had them so long. I don't even remember where I bought them, but you could use any uh, cellophane bag. Um, add a tag and then I just hand wrote the instructions how to make this on the back of the uh, back of the tag. So that's another one of the um, hot chocolates. And then this has got our, our pecan pie praline bars in this one. Um, and you'll notice that these are greasy. They have a lot of butter. So this one did kind of um, soak into the box a little bit, but I still think it's great. All right. Now, if you saw a few minutes ago, I showed you on my Lazy Susan, the um, little gold, these little gold mini loaf boxes. Um, again, those are from Hobby Lobby. I just wrapped one of these up. This does not have caramel on it or anything, so this is not topped with anything. This is just plain apple spice bread. And then this one is that um, crunchy peanut butter fudge that I mentioned earlier. So definitely check that out. One more idea for the hot chocolate is you can get these little um, drawstring bags and you can give them this way. I do want to suggest that you, if you're giving them just like this, that you wrap this um, tightly with a ribbon. This is filled really full, so you don't want the contents to spill out once you've given this away. So um, let's see here. Let me move a couple things out of the way. I want to show you our cowboy chili mix and the peppermint hot chocolate made in the make and take mason jar. So I love these mason jars. Um, they're great for storing foods in the refrigerator or in your pantry, um, but they're also great for gift giving. So I'm gonna show you in a few minutes how to make this cowboy chili mix. And then this is a large version 
of the peppermint uh, white chocolate cocoa mix that I have in the little small prep bowls. Um, and I don't think I mentioned, but these are the one cup prep bowls. These come in a set of six, so you could do six gifts with one of those packages. Um, you would want to add tags to these with instructions so that um, the person receiving them knows what to do. For the cowboy chili mix, there is actually stovetop directions um, that uses like beef stew meat or a crock pot recipe um, that uses just regular ground beef. So you could choose which directions you want to attach or you could attach both um, sets of directions. So let me show you how to make the cowboy chili. We're gonna take an empty make and take mason jar. And let me grab my tray of ingredients here. I've already measured everything out. So we're just gonna to toss everything in the jar. The jar is blending in with my countertop. So um, we're gonna add all of our seasoning. So um, we have chili powder, but I recommend that you actually use chili lime rub from Pamper Chef. It gives it a little bit more flavor when you do that. Um, we're gonna add some oregano leaves. This is dried oregano dried ground cumin. We're going to use some minced onions. Um, these are um, dehydrated minced onions. We have parsley flakes. I also have salt. We have, um, let's see. Oh yeah, I said the parsley. I was looking at that going, wait, where is that? So we're going to first start off with the dry ingredients. So we're going to pour our salt, the ground cumin, our oregano, and I'm just going to sort of flatten that a little bit. We're going to pour in the two tablespoons of either chili powder or chili lime rub. I'm going to add the dried parsley. This gives it a nice color. We're going to just sort of jiggle that a little bit. And then we're going to add three kinds of dried beans. Um, so you can do your black beans. So I'm just sort of leveling this out. And then we have pinto beans, kidney beans, and these are dried beans, so not canned. Just buy them in the bag. And the minced onions, a half a cup, and this is this little bottle is right at about a half a cup. And I may or may not have done that in the same order as I did it the first time. I put the onions in before at the bottom, it really does not matter. Um, once you get this filled, you're gonna take a Ziploc bag and stick it right inside of the cup. And then we're gonna take a bag of Fritos and fill the bag. I love my twisted clips. Um, you could use twist ties on this, but I actually recommend using the um, a little mini Twixit clip to keep these fresh. And you just kind of tuck that in, twist this on. And if you don't know already, our make and take mason jars have two lids. So this lid actually holds salad dressing, and this is the lid to seal the salad dressing compartment. So this is the cowboy chili mix, and this is the um, white chocolate uh, peppermint cocoa. I've probably renamed that in different orders every single time. I'm gonna show you how I did that, and then I'm gonna tell you about our celebration, um, or excuse me, our batter bowl brownie layer mix. So we'll talk about that in just a second. So to make your individual um, hot cocoa, this is one cup of dried milk powder, and then this is a half a cup, oops, let me grab a spoon. Um, so I ground up a bunch of candy canes last night and they seem to store pretty well. I'm gonna jump this in on the top. So this is a half a cup, or I'm sorry, a quarter a cup. And I might've put a little bit too much in there. Let me take some of that out. All right, we wanna have room for our um, white chocolate chip. So we're gonna press this down. We're gonna to top this with the white chocolate. I think I can get all of those in there. And just kind of press this down. Put your lid on, and then this is ready to package and give. So I really, really love those gift ideas. Next up, um, I have our batter bowl brownie layer mix. Now I will tell you that you can make this cookie mix, the cowboy chili, and the hot chocolate all in the small batter bowls or you can use 
the um, make and take mason jars. Either one is great. Um, I will say if you make the chili mix in the small batter bowl, there will be enough room on the top that you should be able to squeeze in a individual package of Fritos um, rather than buying a bigger bag, opening it and then resealing it inside. So um, I'm gonna tell you what the ingredients for this is and I'm gonna use my cheat sheet. So this has sugar, cinnamon, salt, baking powder, flour, unsweetened cocoa powder, um, candy coated basically um, miniature M&Ms in here, um, white chocolate morsels and walnuts. And you would attach a gift tag to this with instructions on how to finish preparing your cookie mix. So um, I am looking around to make sure that I have not forgotten anything that I have prepared to show you guys today. I really hope that you're excited about all of these DIY Christmas gift ideas. Um, I would love the opportunity to hear what you think. Let me know which ones that you're excited to try yourself. And I will post the recipes for all of the things that I showed you today in my recipe community. You can find that at thefliplopchef.com. And I look forward to seeing you the next time. Take care.